This is the section through kidney. And uh, anyway, uh, next day, next lab, I'm going to dissect the sheep kidney for you. OK? Look at this. This is called the renal capsule. Do not confuse with renal corpuscle. It's a different thing. This is the renal capsule. This is the renal cortex. Still renal cortex. Still cortex. Now this is renal medulla. And I'm going to tell you why I say this is this is this part is still cortex, but this is renal medulla, and this is gap, this is renal pelvis. Okay. These are the glomeruli or the renal corpuscles. Can you see that? Let's uh, magnify this one. What do you see here? This is the glomerulus covered by the visceral layer. This is the capsular space. And this layer, where you can see the nuclei is, or are, or nucleus of this flat cell is projecting into the space. These are parietal cells made of simple squamous epithelium. The visceral layer is made of simple squamous epithelium, and the visceral layer cells are a li little bit special because they have foot-like processes called pedicels, but you cannot see this, OK? But there are two layers of cells here. One, that is the capillary network, which is simple squamous epithelium. Another, the visceral layer, that is also simple squamous epithelium. You can look at these tubules, the lumen of which, this is proximal convoluted tubule, the lumen of which is fuzzy due to the presence of microvilli. But, come on, where did it go? Just, okay, there you, there you go. But look at this tubule where the lumen is clear. This is the distal convoluted tubule. This is proximal convoluted tubule. And you can see that the preparation is clear. The lumen is clear because it's not fuzzy because of a few microvilli of the cells. But here, there are plenty microvilli. And you know microvilli are made for absorption, OK? Let me take you to another glomerulus. This is not a very good example, but so